your Android phone might be asking you if you want to do a file transfer every time when you want to plug in a USB to your computer. But if you want to always default to the file transfer option when the phone is unlocked, it's important that this will not show the files when the phone is not unlocked and you should only plug this into your to trusted devices so your files don't get accessed by third parties. You should only plug in your phone in your tr in trusted devices. If you have to plug in your phone to charge in a public place, use a power bank, charge the power bank and then the phone is charged from one of the ports of the power bank. I connect the, I connect the phone to the computer. While the phone is locked, you do not have access to the files on the phone. While the phone is locked, you do not have access to the files on the phone. When I unlock the phone, you get access to the files. This is how you enable the default USB transfer when you connect the phone to the computer and you only have to unlock the phone when you connect. So let's do it again. I connect the phone to the computer. There are no files and I unlock. Now the files are there. To enable USB file transfer by default on your Android phone when you connect it to the computer, you can go to settings, search here for USB, USB, and then you have USB controlled by here. The, these are the USB preferences. So you have this device controlled by this device. This means this phone is the main phone, but it could be the other way around. And here you have here you have settings for file transfer, USB tethering, MIDI, P, PTP, I don't know, I think it's printing. You can print like this. No data transfer. When I choose no data transfer, the files are gone. When I choose file transfer, the files are back. No data transfer, files are gone, and so on. You can even use MIDI if you have a musical instrument, and these are the settings. But if you don't have these USB preferences options, If you don't have this USB preferences option, you can still do this by searching for developer options. If you don't have developer options, you go to the about and then on the build number, you tap five or six, seven times and like this, keep tapping. But I'm already having the developer options enabled. Then after you do that, you search for developer options. You have it here. These only show after you tap five or six, seven times on the build number in the about page. And here, find the option called default USB configuration. And you then have the same options here. File transfer, USB, USB tethering, MIDI, P2P, PTP, and no file transfer. When I change it here. The default I have, I keep as file transfer. So when I plug in the phone, it's always ready to connect and don't connect your phone to unknown devices for safety. So your files are safe. And then you can browse the files. You can browse the files just like a normal disk on the computer while the phone is connected. You can copy files to and from the phone to make some space on the phone or put files on the phone. You can usually you will remove some pictures or videos because when the storage is full, you move some of the pictures and videos from the phone to the computer to have more space for new ones and keep your pictures and videos safe, have multiple copies.
Now that's the default USB configuration and every time I plug in the phone and I unlock it, it's important. So you have to unlock it also so it shows that it's you, not someone who finds your phone and they get access to your files. They will not be able to get access to your files even if you have this setting unless you unlock the phone. And if you unlock the phone, you already have access to them. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.